Did you know that you can literally eat your way to a longer and healthier life? What we eat can make you feel more energized, look younger, and just live an overall greater quality of life. Now, I recently did a video on my research of the Mediterranean lifestyle and the numerous benefits that living a Mediterranean way of life can have on all health and well-being, particularly mental and physical. But in this video, I wanted to break down exactly what foods specifically they were eating that enabled them to be some of the longest living people on earth. I wanted to incorporate some of these foods into a full day of eating for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. But just very quickly before I get into today's video, if you are new here, welcome. This is a channel all about finding balance in today's busy world through healthy and simple living. So this sounds like a topic that you may like, please consider subscribing and join our little community. But without further ado, let's let the cat out of the bag and find out the secrets of what some of the world's longest living people are eating. Now, first and foremost, what are some of the powerhouse foods in the Mediterranean diet? Now, from my research, there are a couple of fruits, vegetables, and whole grains that are specifically chosen to be eaten by these people that I will list up above. But from my research, there were a couple of of powerhouse foods that really stood out to me that were more often than not consumed as part of a Mediterranean diet. And some of them were not exactly what you would think would be powerhouse foods. For example, whole grains. Now, whole grains are an absolute staple as part of the Sardinian and Icarian diet, which are two big blue zones within the Mediterranean area. And studies found that Icarians who consume a lot of whole grains as the basis of their breakfast, lunch, and dinners lived on average eight years longer than people in the US and they also had 20% less cancer and half the levels of cardiovascular disease than the United States. Now, traditionally, carbs are to be feared and something to be consumed in moderation. But when it comes to whole grains, so things like wholemeal rice, complex carbs like whole grain bread or couscous, quinoa, tabbouleh, pearl barley, all these things that are complex carbohydrates, which take longer to digest than simple carbs like your white breads, white rice. These were not only powerhouses in preventing disease, but also enabling these people to have consistent, good, high energy levels throughout the day. So one recipe that I decided to give a go was pao con tomate in Portuguese, and that is very simply translated to bread with tomato. And it is such a simple dish, but honestly, so, so delicious and is literally ready within five minutes. But in that meal, we are getting the whole grains in there, the powerhouse of those tomatoes with so many vitamins and minerals, and one of the second secret powerhouse foods that I want to talk about that is olive oil. Now, one study I found showed that over 7,000 people who consumed 10 grams more of olive oil per day linked to a 7% reduced risk in early death. Again, I think oils and fats have a little bit of a bad rep here in the Western world, but the science is abundantly clear. Olive oil is an absolute powerhouse to getting in all those healthy fat sources that will enable you to have healthy hair and nails and skin. And it is a major secret as well to helping you look a little bit younger than you actually are. Obviously don't go overboard with this because with many fat sources comes a lot of calories, but the key here is trying to get in the olive oil where you can, making sure that it is consumed in proportion with the rest of the food on your plate. But olive oil and whole grains are two little sneaky powerhouses that make up part of the Mediterranean diet that I came across. Now, another food that is important to take note of that may be a little bit more difficult for my vegetarians and vegans out there, but was fatty fish. Again, something to be mindful of because fatty fish is particularly more high in calories than other fishes like cods or hake, but it is so important to keep in mind the healthy fats associated with these fatty fish sources. And one fatty fish in particular that is scientifically proven to be a powerhouse for longevity is salmon. And from a study of the Journal of Internal Medicine, fatty fish eaters had a 38% reduced risk of death from Alzheimer's disease, 
27% lower risk of cancer and a 15 to 18% lower risk of death from cardiovascular related disease. So I think we can safely call it superhero salmon because it has many superhero qualities that will enable us to live a longer and healthier life. And one of my favorite lunch recipes that is Mediterranean inspired again, which includes salmon, is my salmon and roasted veg couscous salad. This is super delicious and as previously mentioned, it gets the olive oil in there and the whole grains from the couscous. So all of those three hidden gem little powerhouse foods that I have previously mentioned are present in this dish. I will leave the recipe in the description below if you want to give this a go, not only because of its nutritional benefits, but because it's just so, so delicious. And finally, it's all about the color. Color, 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 and variety. I think one of the key takeaways that I found from research was no one specific food is going to give you the ultimate key to living a longer and healthier life. Nothing in excess is healthy. It's like anything in life. It has to be consumed in proportion to everything else. And although it has been identified that certain fruits and vegetables will have more of a specific vitamin or mineral than another, but the main thing is to incorporate it all, to get as much variety and diversity in there as you can. And one little sneaky powerhouse amongst the vegetables and fruits area were legumes and that being beans and pulses. Again, it wasn't something that I particularly thought of when it came to the Mediterranean diet as something that would stand out having phenomenal benefits, but, but beans were one of the basics of the Mediterranean diet. And although you may have to pay a slight consequence for upping your bean consumption in one specific way that I will not explicitly mention. Beans are a little hidden powerhouse of the Mediterranean diet. And in order to get some more beans into my diet, I did a really, really simple, yummy Mediterranean inspired dish of beans with pesto and charred courgette. And this was such a yummy, delicious dinner. Getting in those healthy fats from the pesto with the olive oil in there and the nuts, from the veggies with the courgettes and those powerhouse beans in there. A really delicious way to introduce beans to your diet in a way that you haven't done before. So that is pretty much it. How to eat to live a longer and healthier life as inspired by the Mediterranean lifestyle and those people that are living some of the longest out there. Now by no means is this about being perfect and consuming every single powerhouse food with every single meal. It's the overall diet and lifestyle combined that will make the biggest difference. So I hope you found this video helpful and interesting and learnt something new to incorporate some little hidden powerhouse foods into your daily diet. I will leave some further reading and all of my research material in the description below, along with each of the breakfast, lunch and dinner recipes that are all Mediterranean inspired for you to give a try. Thank you everyone for taking the time to watch this video. I really appreciate you taking the time to support this channel. Please like, share, subscribe if you haven't already. It would mean so much to me and I will see you again soon in my next video.